Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lord, and I've recently gotten a chance to play NBA Live 15. I got a couple games in thanks to EA Access on Xbox One. And for those of you, of you that do not have EA Access or an Xbox One, the same six hour trial will be available on October 28th on release day. So if you decide not to pick it up, you will get a chance to preview the game and get some hands on experience for yourself. But I've played a couple games now. I haven't got in, in depth with a lot of the modes, so I haven't really went into Dynasty and really tested it out. I just kind of took a glimpse of it. Um, Rising Star, I haven't touched yet, or Ultimate Team, I have not touched yet. But just, I just want to come here and tell y'all how I feel about the game just after a couple playthroughs. And the first thing you notice is that this is a huge improvement upon NBA Live 14. I feel like the fluidity of the animations are a whole lot better. And NBA Live 14, you had a problem with just some of the animations not looking right at all. Um, they were jumped the wrong way. It, it just really didn't look natural and it looked robotic and stiff. And NBA Live 15, though, is not as smooth as NBA 2K15. That's not to be expected. But the game is a whole lot better. Just the feel of it is a whole lot better. And really, I guess watching it doesn't do it too much justice. But if you play an NBA Live 14 and you play NBA Live 15, right away you will tell the difference. However, with that being said, the game is not on NBA 2K15 level in terms of just the overall package. You know, um, my GM is going to blow Dynasty out the water in terms of in depth and things you can do. But even the gameplay, 2K15 has had a solid foundation and an engine now that they have been working and fine-tuning for years. And is at, at the point where the game, everyone knows what to expect from NBA 2K15. And they found the right blend that puts simulation basketball as well as people who aren't into it as much as all the simulation players. They can still enjoy the game as well. NBA Live 15, you can tell that they're trying to find that balance, and they're at they have a good start from this engine as they've been announcing during their little um, pre up to the games. They have ha they do have a new engine. You could tell, but like I said, it's just a foundation. But I do like the foundation. One of the things that are drastically improving was the shooting, and the shooting is a whole lot better. One of my biggest gripes with NBA Live 14 was the shooting, and you never knew when you were releasing it at the right point. And it didn't, it never told you. You had no indicator. You also just, everyone felt like they shot the same. And I really did not like the shooting in NBA Live, um, NBA Live 14. NBA Live 15, the shooting is a whole lot better. They now tell you at the top left of the shot, if you release it right on perfect timing, you know, slightly early, slightly later, things that you're used to NBA 2K showing you. They have it to also indicate whether your player was open or whether he was contested or not open at all. And you could tell that by like the green meter underneath the player. If it flashes green, he's open, yellow, he's contested, and then red, obviously, he's not open at all. So I do like that. It makes it a little bit easier for you to get, you know, your feet wet and kind of figure out what's going on. But the game, the game in a nutshell is a whole lot better for me. I don't think it's better than NBA 2K15, but it is different enough that if you own NBA 2K15, you might want to purchase this game as well because it is going to be a different type of basketball. Also, some players may like this actually better just because the gameplay and the style is a little bit different from NBA 2K15. But that's really it. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to be bringing out more videos, more gameplay videos, and I'll probably give y'all a review or another video later on after I play the game a little bit more but like I said I only played a couple games at this point and I do enjoy the game and I'm looking forward to playing a lot more but I'm gonna leave y'all with the NBA final celebration that they had at the end of this game so please leave this video a like also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed it's your boy D Lord I'm gonna see y'all next time they won the ultimate game a game seven in the NBA Finals to cap off what has to be thought of as one of the great years and one of the great teams in NBA history. They have so much to be proud of. They earned it. They deserve it. They won it. Give them all the credit.